we're gonna pull wire for a fire alarm system. And they had a hallway with a fire panel here on the wall. This is looking, this is like the ceiling. This is the floor. Let's say you had a bunch of, say you had a piece of conduit coming out of that panel to a bunch of boxes on the ceiling that are running down a long hall. And there's conduit between them. All right. And you're going to pull a pair of wires through that conduit. Uh, into each smoke detector. Okay? Right. All right, so one way to do it would be to set the, the wire up here on your reels and pull it in that conduit and come down this way. You'd start your fish tape this way and, and bring it through all those. Um, so say you did that and you pulled the wire all the way over here. And then you still need to pull a little loop down in each smoke detector to make up the device, okay? If you start here and if there's 10 smoke detectors and you pull out 10 feet and then you come over here and pull out 9 feet and 8 foot and try and space it out that way you go crazy because you'd be 100 feet down here this way or something and you wouldn't be able to see how much loop you got left and all that. So the way to do it is after you've run your fish tape in and pulled your, your wire all the way to the end, you start at the farthest end and you, then you start pulling your loops. Front, going back from this way. End. Yeah. Yeah? All right. So um, the way you, so you tie this off, let's say, to the pipe a little bit, and then you come in and you pull f from, the, from the reel, you pull like a foot in and a foot out, and then it's still going straight through here, so you can, you can pull all those little loops. By the time you get back here, you've got exactly what you need. Let's make it harder. See, you got a hallway like this with a panel down. Now, now we're looking down on it. Okay? And say you got a hallway like this and a hallway like this and a hallway like this and like this. And say you got two smokes here and two here, two here. All right, say it looks like that. So we're going to set up our reels underneath the panel, let's say, and then we'll start our fish tape in here. Well, let's say there's a box here and a box here. Let's say it comes right off of that one. There's a box there. So let's say the conduit looks like this. Okay. Okay. Now, if you're doing fire alarm and it's one pair of wires for all these smoke detectors, you can't T-tap in these boxes. If it's electrical and you're doing 120 or something, that's okay. All right. But for fire alarm, it's it's not cool. You got you got to loop in and loop out of everything. Right. Okay. So let's say you set your reels up right underneath this panel and you run your fish tape in like this, and you pull that pair of wires all the way through here. Okay, you go ahead and you tie the you know a foot off onto the conduit right there or back there or something. So you don't pull it back through. So you don't pull it back through, and then you come this way, and when you get to this box, you pull out a big long loop enough to go back and forth. Say it's 20 foot and 20 foot, right? Mm -hmm. So that's 40. You pull out 80 feet, and then you lay it out on the floor and you bend it in half, and you, you start the head in here, and you pull that loop all the way through here. Then you come back and you pull your loop here and here into the box, you know, a foot down, a foot down, and then you've got exactly what you need all through here. Then you come back this way, you pull a little loop down into that box and you, into that, where that detector is going to be. And then you come to this one and you do the same thing. You pull off 80 feet and you go back out that way and back. All right. So you work the whole thing backwards. You come here, you pull a little loop, little loop, little loop, big loop, big loop. And then you come back here, and then when you cut this off at the panel, you know, down below the panel with enough to make up in the panel, you got exactly what you need. 
go back to the first diagram. Here's a hallway. Here's a panel. Bunch of smoke detectors. Now say for some reason you had to put a box up here. Say you couldn't bend around, I don't know why. But say it happened. And say you can't pull through that box, right? Okay. What you can do You could set your, your reel up about here and you could actually start in that box there. So you feed your fish tape through here. When it comes out to this box, you run it down and, and you, you feed your reels in here. Okay? Then you still go ahead and you, you pull the wire all the way to here, tie it off. And then you, you, you come back and you pull your little loops in the boxes. All right, when you get to here, you, you could make a joint there, right? And, and just run it back the other way, but the idea, the whole reason we're doing this is to avoid joints. Uh, joints take extra time and they cause a lot of troubles in fire alarm systems later on. Okay, so the least, the least joints you can have in your fire alarm system, the better. Okay, so while this is still attached to the, to the reel, you know that, uh, it, say it's 10 foot and 10 foot and 10 foot down to the panel, so you come in here, you pull out a, a, it's called a tail, usually. You, you pull off about 30 feet, you know, like 15 foot out and 15 feet in, and you cut it right there, and that gives you 30 feet, and then you run your fish tape. Oh, I don't know how you do it. You, you could even shove it in here. Uh, you just shove your wire here, shove your wire here, and it comes out here, and then you shove it down there, and you get it where you're going. So a lot of times, if you can't set the reel up directly at the very end, or if it's inconvenient to do so, then you go ahead and come in a box or two, 10 or 20 or 30 feet, where it's easy to pull a tail off after you get done with your whole run. You pull that tail off and then shove it in the last part of it. We showed the basic wire pulling strategy. There's one more thing called a staggered head. I don't know if we're going to use that today or not, but there's a thing called a staggered head. Let's say a staggered, head. a staggered head. We talked about pulling one pair of wires. Can you hold that? Yeah. All right. We talked about pulling one pair of wires, but let's say you got a panel here. And let's say you've got a bunch of smoke detectors. And they're 30 feet apart, let's say. Um, you got your pipe. And we talked about having one pair of wires that picked up each of those smokes. Let's say for some weird reason, each of those wires, each of those boxes needs a different pair of wires. Let, let's say it's like, the, well, here, let's, let's do it this way. Let's say there's a wall here, and a wall here, and a wall here, okay? And let's say you got a conventional panel with four zones in it, okay? And let's say this is zone one, this is zone two, this is zone three, this is zone four. Let's say the panel needs to know which smoke detector in which room goes off. Let's say it's a conventional panel, all right? So what that means is a conventional panel has to have one pair of wires for each zone, okay? So... Ah, oh, I see, I yeah? see. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's say these are 30 feet apart, so this is like 120. So if it's conventional, instead of going all through there, you'd have to go there and then there and then there and then there, all well, separate pairs of wires. Right, well, you could pull them through the same conduit, but they do need different pairs of wires. Okay, so you could take eight wires and pull them all through here and then, and then cut them here and tie the two that you're going to leave here and pull all the rest back and tie the two that you're going to leave here. You could do it that way. Right. Or you could stagger the head. And what that means is you send your fish tape in through here all the way to here and you add, uh, I don't know, 120 feet for this pair of wires. And then 30 feet later at 90 feet, you pull in 30 feet and then you, you wrap onto you make a new head with the new wires, right? So that while you're dragging that 120 feet through here, you, you, you've just added one, it's at about 30 feet later, the, the electrical tape that you've used to tie that onto is gonna show up in this box. And then, and then this'll be where it needs to be, and this'll be, and after 30 more feet you pulled in, you, you do 60, at 60 feet, you tie on zone three, and you pull that through, and then 30 feet from the end, you, you tie the last you. one. It's called a staggered head. I got you. Yeah. yeah.